So today we're gonna be coloring this giant animal coloring, like coloring roll, because you may have seen the first part of our coloring frenzy video that we never finished. We said that we were filming um, spring and we actually were. So we might post the part of spring that we have, the spring part of it um, when we have the time. But so we're gonna be starting a new roll of coloring. And, and it says it's 18 feet, which is like a lot. I think we checked, there's actually like repeats, but that's fine. And that actually comes with 16 crayons, mm -hmm. but we do have our own crayons, just in case. And let's take off the rubber band. Okay. Um, should I move the camera back a little bit? Just yeah. So that we can unroll this. And see the sheer size of um, this giant thing. Okay, hold, okay. hold that end, okay. Maybe I should be the one rolling. Yeah, maybe you should. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll go So it. we're unrolling it, if you can't see. Yeah. Um, and um, it's Wait. pretty long, I would say. Yep. Okay. Oh gosh, um, you're gonna have to move a couple things back there. Yeah. Okay. it out. It's not as complex as our other coloring frenzy that we did, but this one's longer, so um, yeah. yeah. This is gonna be hard. So we're just gonna be coloring as much of it as we can um, right now in this video, and there is going to be a part two because um, um, I think you can tell why. Um, so yeah. let's take a look at the selection of crayons that we have right here that they come with. Very decorative and festive. So right off the bat, I see yeah. that the yellow crayon had an accident. So. Um, Luckily, yeah. we do have some yellow crayons, crayons here. So, um, yeah, the yellow crayon um, is going to be, like, pretty hard to color with. So, we're just going to put it over there. So, uh, let's find other yellow crayons. And besides yellow crayons, we have this bright pink, this, like, dark brown, this dark chocolate brown too. Lots of replacements. Yeah. 
And we have this orange, like peach, I guess. No, not really. This dark navy blue. This normal brown. We also have this teal. This dark blue. We have this light chocolate, like milk chocolate brown. This tan skin tone color. We have this bright orange a lighter orange, a purple, dark green, a light green, and then we have this light pink, which also, I guess, could sort of be used as a skin tone. So that's what we have, and right off the bat, I see that we don't have any light blue, so we're gonna, so we are going to add some of those to our collection. We got this gray blue. We got sparkly light blue. We've got, let's see here, let's put our bin in the camera. Well, maybe we can just find the crayons that we need when we actually need them. Well, I'm just gonna dump it out. Okay, so we've got this tealish, which doesn't really count as light blue. Very light green, I think I found. And, oh yeah, here's what we're looking for, pretty much. Oh, and we also have, yeah, that'll do. This, that'll do. So, that'll do. So, um, this will also do. So we've got these like replacement blue, light blue crayons. Where's all of our replacement yellow crayons? Oh, they're in your hand. Okay, so you can just put them right next to the blue. And we're gonna be starting to put our handfuls and handfuls of random colors and bits and pieces of crayons back into our random colors and bits and pieces of crayons bin. Um, there was a broken white and a um, pencil, broken mini pencil. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that one out. Mm. Most of the, like, most of the broken ones have been taped back together and we've just got a very interesting assortment, I guess you could say. So let's start off with what we're seeing here. And I'll just take this broken crane and toss it in, even though it's Yeah, we'll not probably a... use it in the future because actually it has a sharper point than most of our cranes <laughs> at this point. Um, yeah, so we're just going to put this big bin off to the side if we ever need it. And so let's get started. We're going to do a, like a little bit of um, a speed up and then we're going to like stop at like points so that we can like tell you how it's going and so we're just going to be coloring in normal mode for the first like minute or two and then we're gonna start fast mode so okay. i'm just gonna just start with this fox wait here which it's bow i'm gonna make pink yeah i want to start with that bunny bunny is my favorite mm -hmm. animal um uh i don't know what to color to make it I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a purple bunny. <laughs> purple one. I do think that you can make it like tan if you want realistic. Oh yeah. But then again, this is anything but realistic. We've got foxes wearing bows. We've got bunnies wearing sunglasses eating ice cream. <laughs> and we've got like peacocks who have like hearts on their feathers, so you know. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> Wait, so. where are the peacocks? Oh, right yeah, there. Right oh, here. okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so pink bow, and I'm going to go off with a... Okay, that's a um, lot of pink. Oh, wait, no. It's purple. Yeah, that's purple. For a second, I'm going to go off with a skin tone e pink e color for the insides of this fox's ears. Mm -hmm. So I think in the, like, the black lines like are way thicker than the other coloring frenzy that we did. Yeah. So this is more for literal, littler kids, but I really don't care because I think it's cute. Yeah, same. Like, all these animals that have like faces and are doing like, <laughs> it's just so cute. Yeah, I see. Okay. Oh, right off the bat, I see we actually don't have red, which is a problem since I'm coloring a fox. Oh, um, um, yeah. Red crayon, red crayon, red crayon. Um, let's see, we've got a million reds. 
this is like a blank yeah. challenge. So those two red crayons will do because they have a very sharp point. Yeah, so, actually they're the same crayon. They are? Wait, well they look kind of the same. Yeah. So I'm going to take one of them and just start coloring the end of her tail. Okay. I, it's a um, sheep if we're going by stereotypical vibes, but. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we can go into fast mode now. Yeah. Okay. See you in a little bit. Yeah. Please update. Um, um, okay. Broken crayon. Um, let me go grab the tape. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to be using the other crayon, even though my sister is, my sister May is going to go fix it with some tape. I think the reds are identical and I can't see the difference, so. <sighs> I'm calling the Fox Barbara, so the Miss Fox Barbara. Barbara Fox, oh gosh, okay. Um, <laughs> I realize what I've done now. Um, okay, so Barbara the Fox. His tail is saved from being a different shade of red in <laughs> part of it. And, you know, scot scotch tape fixes everything, so. I don't have scotch tape. Oh. Space tape. God, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just... So, I'm going to start off with a light macaroni and cheese type vibe color Ooh. for. I like that. Um, I, I named it Barbara, and um, I think you realize what I've done now. Barbara Fox. <laughs> it's a fox, Barbara. Barbara the fox, Barbara fox. Um, yeah, that was awkward. Uh, so, yeah, I guess um, when I name something, something, it um, stays like that forever, so. Uh, So one problem about coloring is that we have wooden floors with indentations in them, so indentations come into the crayon coloring, which is why my great friends, um, I don't know, uh, uh, which is why I'm going to find a flat surface to do this on. Maybe like right here. So Percy Jackson. And I've only read it like a million times, so. Okay. Have fun, my dear friend Cran. <laughs> I hope you will not be broken. Okay, let's go back to Fasmo. We'll um, update you whenever something uh, Unexpected oh, happens. Can you turn it over just so that it's covered? Yeah, like sure. Of them? Thank you. Okay, mm, bunny. Perfect. So okay. now indentations won't be in our coloring, Yay. and we'll just move the book around as we color things. Okay. Well, let's get back. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I think um, my grip is just too tough. Um, another crayon broke. Don't worry, we have the crayon hospital. Right Although here. it didn't like break like literally in half. It's just it just cracked. Okay. And we're I in the middle I'm of a coloring. Bit of, um, yeah, tape on it just yeah. so that it's. And we're running out of tape here, so I better not. Right. Crack where it. did it crack? Like right where the like little crinkle is. Uh, right there. Okay. Okay, so we're coloring this llama going across, like, a grassland. So I'm coloring the grass, and my sister May is coloring the llama. I think it's a llama. It could be a camel. I don't even know. It's actually wearing headphones. That's a detail that I had not noticed. So, um, I and I actually think that the fox turned out pretty nice. I actually tried to 
um, blend crayon colors together. Oh. I might have successfully done, I don't think I really did it here, but it was closer than whatever this is. <laughs> um, yeah, just ignore that because, but I do think that, oh, Barbara Fox, I got it. Okay, Barbara, we're Barbara out of Fox tape, is, um, but this one should be okay. Yeah, this one should be okay. It's just don't rip it where I break it. Um. Oh yeah, sorry about that. The noise in the background. I was actually playing with these fidget toys. This poppet ball. What? You were. Yes, and actually we have lots of fidget videos that you can go check out right now. Link in the description. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go check that out. Also, we have an announcement to make. Um, we have a Sneaky Sasquatch Halloween YouTube video that's out now. Um, since it is almost going into mid-November, um, today is daylight savings time when we're filming this. The last daylight savings time before daylight savings time is not a thing, which I'm really grateful for because it's like really hard to wake up in the morning. Tears. I, I, I want daylight savings time to stay like forever. Because cause like then it's like waking up for school wouldn't be too hard. Yes. So go check out some of our fidget toys videos. Also, this poppet ball was deflated, but it somehow inflated itself over these past few months. So if you have a deflated poppet ball, don't worry. And don't throw it out. Just leave it somewhere where air might come to it. I left it on a windowsill, and I think I only opened the window a couple times. And um, so this poppet ball is actually inflated again. So, if you hear any background noise, that's me playing with fidget toys. <gasps> and I got some new fidgets, and might make a video on them. Also, another link in the description is um, a series of videos, like of parts of videos that I did starring my fidget collection. And I have poppets and all sorts of cool things. Okay, back to the video. Guys, um, you know what it, time it is. It's update time. Another crayon broke, and I really don't think this the qualities of these crayons is very good but honestly like what can you expect and also right now i'm playing with this simple dimple <laughs> which is a fidget toy that i'm currently obsessed with so down in the description there's going to be lots of links to lots of fidget videos so you can go check that out after this video. Another fidget that I'm obsessed with right now is mochis. So right now I have a jumbo one and you can stretch them and bend them. And you can like do this, like you're playing with slime. So love this elephant's little ears and it's trunk. So a normal size of mochi, let me find one, would probably look like this, which is like pretty tiny, but mochis are great for the classroom. Like, if you're not allowed to bring toys to school, just bring fidget toys, because, and like, they're pretty silent, um, most of them. Most of them. Um, but yeah, while well, my sister is looking for tape, I'm just gonna be doing some like, real-time coloring of the llama. So my sister is like fixing the main crayon that she was using, so I'm just gonna move the book a little bit. So I'm going to keep on coloring 
some of this grass. And honestly, I just think coloring with crayons is so satisfying. And I usually do like the general outline of things, like the area that I want to color, and then I color in that space. Usually turns out looking pretty good. And yep, there's the fox also in the camera. And I think the main background for this is going to be um, bright, like sunny skies and like green grass because that's what it looks like. And if we do find a moon somewhere, we'll make it nighttime. And I do think a couple, like, animals are in, like, space rockets. So we'll make, like, a blotch of that, like, space themed. General outline. That. And then color it in. That's what I do with crayons. Because crayons aren't very good for detailing. Drawing. And also, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the like button so you can know whenever a new video is posted. And also, go check out some of our other videos on different stuff. We have slime videos, which we're trying to get back to. Lego videos, which we're in the middle of making one right now on a big Lego set, so we haven't posted it yet. Sneaky Sasquatch gaming videos which are pretty long, but you can just watch a clip of them and it's just relaxing if you want to. Like, also like, you might notice that like half of them have like an Apple Pencil in it. That's just because we didn't know how to screen record them. And this is my favorite toy. This big, like, solar system puppet. So yeah, I'm just gonna get back to coloring and hopefully my sister um, finds some tape. guys so we are going to end the video right here i don't think we got as much done as we hoped to because of all the crayons breaking and also we couldn't find it like my sister couldn't find any tape so crayons this now mm -hmm. and this other part is back there i'm gonna go put it in our bin. So we're going to put all these crayons into our crayon bin. And this is what we accomplished today. Let's take the book out. So I really do think that it looks great. And my favorite part is probably the fox that I colored. Though the kitten is a close second because I just think it's so cute. And so I think next time we're gonna continue on this way. This is my favorite part ever because my favorite animals are koala bears and I think this is just so cute. And so we're gonna wrap up today's video. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you want to see a lot of videos so we're going to call like 
a bunch of videos on the weekend. A weekend waterfall of videos. And I think we probably will, like, at most only post, like, one vi video every um, weekday. And we won't be posting at all on Wednesday. So, so if we do actually post, then it'll probably, like, be only one video. We but that one video, we just liked the idea of waterfall. So we came up with a bunch of other natural disasters and stuff like that. So, um, for, so we have Monday is Monday Marathon. Monday Marathon. Tuesday Tornado. Tuesday Tornado. Um, and Wednesday will be Extra Earthquake since it's like an extra video. And the, also, it could be added avalanche because it's also added. And then Thursday is Thursday, Thursday tsunami. tsunami. And then Friday, we have my friend over usually, or I'm at my friend's house. So we might do some fidget videos, like filming together. So it's Friday fidget filming. And then we start over again with weekend waterfalls. So that's our like, so we just sort of got carried away with these names. Oh, this actually sort of looks like a jumbo straw. <laughs> so go check out our fidget ASMR video if you want to hear more of these satisfying sounds with the fidgets. And go check out some of our fidget videos if you want to know where to get fidgets. We mostly get them at Amazon, although if you have f friends with fidgets, you can trade with them. So, yeah, I was just showing you a couple of my favorites. I love pop tubes, although somebody, some people hate them because um, they're super loud. And so, yeah, that's all for today's video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And go check out some of our other videos. Lots of fidget videos link in the, the description. And, yeah, that's about it today, guys.